Right, so welcome to another video guys. And in this video, I am showing you how I do diamonds. There's lots and lots of different ways of doing it, but this is the way that I do it. And currently I have, um, this is actually from a T4 transporter uh, double seat base. And this is the center panel and it's gonna have diamonds in it. So I thought I'd do a quick separate video to show you how I do it. So first things first is you need your center point. Any piece of work it's gonna be, whatever it's gonna be diamonds, you need your center point. So the way I do this is I fold over each side and you can either draw or just take a nick. So top and bottom and side and side. So that's top and bottom done. Cool. So now get yourself a ruler. And what I just do, so hold on, before that, I've got, you can either use a pencil, you can use a graphite pencil, a chalk pencil, anything like that. Or there's this here, and it's called a silver star. And it's basically, a, it will mark on leather, vinyl, not fabrics, but it can mark, it will mark on this, and then you can just rub it out with a rubber or just any, any sort of, detergent cleaner and it will come off this is actually really good but I've noticed it's sometimes quite hard to see so as long as you've got light when you're sewing and you can see the line then you're all right so hopefully it will show up on this but this is what I'm going to use today so this is my piece this is the correct way up so the diamonds are going to be going like so uh, various different shapes and sizes you can have 10 centimeters long by eight you could do you could do squares if you wanted 10 by 10 8 by 8 i like to do 12 by 6 so i can like quite elongated diamonds um so first things first is i'm gonna place the ruler on both of the notches and just draw the line i can see that easily i oh, hope it shows up but i'll do some close-ups in a sec and then side by side, like so. Okay, so I do apologize if you can't see it, but I can see it. So next thing is from your center point, you decide what size diamond you want. So I'm gonna go 12 centimeters by six wide. So if I'm going 12, I'm gonna do from the center point, six up, six down, and I'm just gonna do a mark, so. Six up, six down, like so. So I've got a mark there and a mark there. And then, so that's 12 by six. So it's gonna be three across and three across, which makes you six. Perfect. Okay, so now, first things first, is you're gonna go through two of the dots. So pick either one. So I'm gonna go across like so. That'll be very, very accurate. Okay, and then we need to go across like so on the other side. So just to make life a bit easier so I can see what I'm doing. So my mark is there and there. And you can just look as well, make sure it's nice and level. Okay, so my two lines are on like so. 
So now what we're going to do is put the edge of your ruler on the edge of one of the lines you've just uh, drew. And from the center point, which is the most accurate point, you are going to mark on the ruler where it is. Okay. So, as you say, I've done this before, so there's already a mark on that ruler, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is then, using this again, the side of your ruler, check the top and the bottom to make sure where I've done my line. That is nice and even. So, what I've got here, so it's bang on one of the lines, and where my marking is, it's straight across. And same again, perfect. And now you've got that mark, what you can do now is start working these lines out and out. So what I do is I now put my ruler on the edge of the line again and where you marked on your ruler, just mark on the vinyl like so. One at the top, one at the bottom. And then simply draw the line across. And I'll fast forward this video, but I'm just going to go all the way across like so. And then from that line, using the side of that ruler again, facing that way, draw my lines out. Okay, so we'll fast forward this. So as you can see, I've just drew all these lines across and I'm simply going to turn my work around and then again, using the edge of this ruler, start doing all my lines. Right, now all my lines are going across, nice and even, looking really good. Now we need to go across this way, which is gonna create our diamond shape. So again, from the four markings we did, we now need to go across two of them and get a nice straight line. So again, my marking is there and there. 